Hi everyone, welcome to the month of June. This month we're going to learn about farms and we're going to learn about some of the different animals that live on farms and some of the different things that happen on farms. And I don't know where you live. If you live in a big city, you might not be familiar with farms, but if you live in the country, you have probably driven by farms before. Farms are very important because that's where we get most of our food from. Yes, you're going, what? No, my mom goes to the grocery store and gets our food. Well, where do you think the grocery store gets the food? It's from the farmers. So this, week, this month, we're going to learn about them. And later today, after we do our craft, we're going to read a story called Big Red Barn by Margaret Wise Brown. And that'll get us into learning about the farms. But before we start that, I just wanted to show you a few different pictures, and I hope you can see them. This is like a farmer's market, and it's where a farmer has brought the food that he has, that he's raising on his farm, and other people like you and me can go and buy our fruits and vegetables and sometimes even some of the meat. And then before the tractors, farmers used donkeys and mules and horses to help them plow their farms. And there are all different kinds of farms. Some of them are, you know, are more like this and you'll see lots of red barns. And this picture is a farm from the air. And you can see the different fields. They're all different little green squares because they're growing different things. And then all cows don't look the same, but here's some dairy cows. And from them, that's where we get the milk that gives us milk, yogurt, butter, ice cream, so they're very important animals. Later this month, we'll be talking about what happens at harvest time. And here is a farmer harvesting his field. And this would be one of the barns. And you can see the tractor that's in the barn. And that's where they park their vehicles. And we'll see silos and bins and we'll learn more about them. Here's a farm that has sheep and this is a different kind of farm. This one harvests the maple syrup. What? Yes, we get the syrup from the trees. So there are all kinds of farmers, all kinds of farms. Some are just animals, some are just food ones. But today, we are going to make a big red barn, and we're going to have little, friend, blah, 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 little farm friends. <laughs> Say that 10 times quickly. And you can play with them and you could either sing the song old mcdonald had a farm and on that farm he had a cat on that farm he had a pig or you could wait listen to the story later and then you can retell the story the big red barn by using your big red barn and your animal puppets so Let's take a look in our kit and see what we're going to use today. What you need at home would be, I used paint when I did mine. If you had red paint, that's very easy to use. If you don't have red paint, you can use a red marker or a red crayon. And the only other thing you would need um, I used white glue when I glued mine together and it took about two and a half hours to dry so I could do this with it. 
Um, but today I'm going to show you how to put it together really quickly using a hot glue gun. So that means an adult would have to be gluing this together. But in our bag, we're going to find, I want you to find, first I want you to find the sheet that has all these things on it. We're gonna need that. And then in here we have our bag, our little bag with things in it. We're gonna need stuff that's in here. And we're going to need, since it's the first week, we have two pieces of red construction paper. We only need one today. So take one out and put the other one back in here. And let's see. What else do we need? Um, I think that's all we need today. But if you um, were going to use white glue to glue this together, you would also need either the white glue to attach your little friends to the popsicle stick, or you could use scotch tape. Today, um, I'm not going to do these again, <laughs> because if you would look at this page, we have nine friends. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what you're going to do is beginning, you will take your scissors and cut those guys out. And then you're going to take the rest of this paper and you're going to put it back in your kit because this is for next week, the week after, and the week after. So today what we're going to use, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. We're going to use this one down here where it says barn roof, cut one. And we're also going to have the nine animals. So I'm going to put that over there for now, because what we're going to do today is show you how to put together your red barn. So in your bag, there are a lot of popsicle sticks. We just want the popsicle sticks. Put the other things, the cotton balls are going back in here. And the clothespins are going back in here. And my dime is going back in here. And I'm going to seal that up. I'm going to stick it back in my bag for later this month. So, you will see I already have some that I have colored. You're going to need 12 popsicle sticks for the barn. So, let me first get the ones that I have colored red. I have half of my barn already colored for you, just so you can see that it is very easy to color the popsicle sticks. They don't look the same as the paint, but they look very good. And when you go out riding around, you'll see that all barns while they might be red, they don't all look the same. So let's first put these six here because I've already colored them. And so I need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to have nine popsicle sticks left for your nine animals. So let's put them right there for right now, because I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use the marker and color these. And it goes pretty quickly. You only have to color the one side. You don't need to turn it over and do the other side because no one's going to see the back of the inside of your barn except you. So no one's going to see this except you. They're only going to see this part. So you do the, the six.
And when you're doing this at home, Miss Mary forgot her extra piece of paper to put under this. But you know what I always tell you? That you should have a piece of paper that you have underneath your work while you're working on it. So now I have my 12 popsicle sticks and we're going to put four of them, two for the top, two for the bottom. So I'll put two and two and then we have eight other ones and so we're going to have four on either side of the barn and this part here is our door. So. We have our popsicle sticks, so you line them up, and this is good practice for your eye-hand coordination. And you get them here, and you say, well, Miss Mary, how do I know how to space it? How big is my barn's door? That's what these guys are for. So you take them, and using one, it will be it will be the length of your whole barn so it's the outside remember oh my goodness i don't think i could do that ever again perfectly like that holy moly so anyway now i know how i'm going this is perfect this is how i'm going to glue it so if you had your white glue what you would be doing right now is gluing Remember what I said, we always glue the smaller part to the bigger part. Well, this looks like it's smaller, but you know what? We don't want glue in the middle. We only want glue on the sides. So we would take our white glue, pretend this is my white glue, and I would put glue here, and I would put glue here, and then I would put my popsicle stick down on the part where I've glued it. So I'm going to use my hot glue gun. Yep, it's hot enough now. So I'm going to go ahead and run the glue along the top there and run the glue along the top here. And this part, if you're using the hot glue gun, you want the grown-up to do this so we don't get little burnt fingers, okay? The one good thing about the hot glue is that it dries right away and so we'll be able to work with our um, barn right away. Now you can see that I have most of my big red barn done. All I need to do now is the roof. If I was using the white glue, I would probably have done this on um, like a plate because I would, I would have it on something that I could pick it up like this and move it somewhere to let it dry. And like I said, um, if you're using the white glue, it took me about two and a half to three hours until my barn was dry so then I could go to the next part of my barn and so since I'm using the hot glue I don't have to wait for three hours I'm ready right now and so excuse me but Miss Mary forgot her scissors at the table now this is what you would be doing at home and I'm not going to color all my little farm animals today because we would be here until the cow came home. We don't want to be here that long. You have other things to do today. So you can take your time and color your animals over, you know, you could color them all at one time, or you could take your time and color them later in the day or a different day. It's whenever you want to color them to finish your farm, your barn. Now this part, 
Remember, I'm going to put it back into my bag because this is for other things that we're going to do later this month. So, you're going to color these little guys. You can color them any way you want to color them because it's your farm. I colored mine so they look almost the same colors as the animals that are in the story that we're going to be reading, The Big Red Barn. And so you see, I've got my nine. I'm trying to hold them all up for you so you can see them all. We have the dog, the hen, a chick, the, a mouse, a cow, a pig, a horse, a sheep, and a cat. These are all animals that you will find on farms. So I colored them, I cut them out, and then I glued, I, I sorry, I taped mine to the popsicle stick. So I'm just gonna put them over there so you, you see what they look like when they're finished. So you can do them any way you want to do them. Now I'm going to show you about this piece. I told you we took out the one red square and we're going to use this. If you're real tricky, you can cut it out like this, holding it and cutting it along. If you're young, you want to maybe have mom or big sister or brother or dad or grandma or aunt or uncle or babysitter whoever's watching you cut it out for you and then they'll trace it on the red paper and then you can practice cutting it out very good hand eye coordination and also good cutting skills, fine motor skills. So we have the roof of our barn. So all we want to do now is cut along the black edge, a line that we've drawn. And if you want to get real fancy, you could actually name your farm and if you decide to do that you could have someone if you've already learned how to write your name you could write your name on the barn's roof and so then people would know whose barn this is and if you aren't writing yet you can have mom or dad or big brother or big sister or aunt or uncle or grandma or grandpa or whoever um, they could write your name on there for you. So now, attaching it. If you're using the white glue, very carefully, you would draw, you would glue right along the edge on the back of this. You would just glue it along the edge like that. Let it dry, and then you're ready to play with it. If you're using tape, you would tape this right to the back, and then you're ready to play. I'm going to use the hot glue because that's what I have today. So I am going to very carefully, and then I have my barn. And so now, on old Miss Mary's farm, she has a dog. Come and read the story with me. See you. Hi everyone, we just finished making a big red barn with a lot of little farm animal puppets and they go with this story we're going to read today called Big Red Barn by Margaret Wise Brown. By the big red barn in the great green field was a little pink pig who was learning to squeal. 
there was a great big horse and a very little horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. And weather vanes are used to show the direction, north, south, west, and east. There's a great pile of hay and a little pile of hay, and that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. And an old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe. And in the field, the old mice was born. Right here in this field of corn. And they're so little, I'm not sure you can see them. barn was a rooster and a pigeon too and a big white hen standing on one leg and under the hen was a quiet egg. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen and a big clutch of eggs. Count them! There are ten! a big brown cow and a little brown cow. It was an old black cat. Meow. Meow. And a tiger tom cat. Meow. Meow. And there was a big red dog. Bow wow. With some little puppy dogs all round and warm. And they all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and the hay. Look at them everywhere playing. You have the goats and the cows and the sheep and the horse and the pigs and the dogs and the cats and the donkey and the geese. And the pigs like to roll in mud because it helps them stay cool because they can't sweat like we do. So the mud keeps them cool. When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed and the little pig squealed and the horses stomped in the sweet warm hay and the little donkey gave one last hooray. <laughs> and the hens were sleeping on their nests, and even the roosters took a rest. And the little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And you can see they're all coming back up to the barn because that's where they sleep at night. And there they were, all night long, sound asleep. In the big red barn. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay. And like I said before, they're so little. They're right there, but I'm sure you can't even see them because I can hardly see them. While the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. So, if you haven't seen a farm, take a ride. Go look at a farm.
and see all the animals that live in that 